everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is officially my first challenge for the Face Awards with NYX Professional Makeup. I did make it through to the top 30. Our first theme was National Pride and I chose to do the Great Barrier Reef. In 2016, 22% of the coral on the reef died due to the worst mass bleaching ever on record. So I thought it would be fun to do a before and after. So if you guys want to stick around and check out this video, then just simply keep on watching. So as you've seen in the first part of this video, I did start out by having one contact in my eye it was a black one that just represents the dead side and then I just went in and slicked back my hair with some hair gel and just tied it up really really tight I started out by outlining with a white pencil just the sides where I wanted one to be dead and one to be alive and then on the alive side I went in with some light foundation and just laid it up until I had a nice coverage and then I just simply went ahead and set that using a transparent powder because we're using using a lot of eyeshadows and a lot of blending. So I first started out by applying a bright yellow eyeshadow into the corner of my eye which then blended to a nice lime green shadow which then blended to an aqua shade which then blended to a nice royal blue shade. I didn't really have a sense of direction with this look. I was mimicking a fish and I'm gonna pop a fish up in the screen because I don't know the fish's name that I was trying to mimic but I kind of was just running with them colors and just placing the eyeshadows wherever I thought would be most suitable. Now I thought the best way to edit this video was to keep as much blending in as possible. This look did take seven hours to do so obviously I'm not going to do a seven hour video but I just cut out whatever was necessary and just left in as much as possible and sped it up so you could see what I did and the amount of time it took to achieve this look and the amount of blending as well. Also apologies if my voice sounds a bit rusky. I have been sick this past week and I really really pushed myself to get this video done because I didn't want to miss out on such an amazing opportunity and experience with NYX Professional Makeup and the Face Awards. I did do the best I could under these circumstances. Of course I had to get sick on the week that I needed to do my video for this challenge but it's okay because I did try and it got there in the end. You can also now see that I did introduce a burgundy orangey shade into the colouring because that was the shadows on the fish. So yeah I just thought that would be appropriate and to add a little dimension into the face and not have all the colors so bright. I did want a bit of depth in there as well and I like the way it turned out and I think it looked really good. Like I said earlier on in the video, I was mimicking a fish for this look and the fish did have a lot of texture and patterns so I decided to create this kind of reefy eyebrow -y look. I don't really know how to explain this but what I did is just used a black water activated paint to create this and just pretty much squiggled some lines above my eyes. No, not really. I did have um, a picture in my head of what I was doing. It's so hard for me to try and explain because what I do with my makeup is I turn the music on and I I just go for it. I never really have a plan. I just kind of go with the flow and just work under the pressure and yeah I just introduced some oranges and some yellows into this reefy corally eyebrow as well. I then went ahead and created somewhat of a wing and I just incorporated the same colors and the same technique as what I did with the eyebrow into the wing. I then used a white eye pencil to brighten up the eye just because there was so much darkness around the eye and I wanted the eye to stand out and then I just went ahead and applied some mascara and also some lashes because well the reef's beautiful and the lashes just make the look look beautiful. I don't know. I just love lashes so I applied some lashes. 
I then went ahead and added some gold leaf just because I wanted a little bit of sparkle. If you guys are aware of the Great Barrier Reef, you would know that it can be seen from outer space. So I wanted to incorporate that kind of theme into this look some way and that's how I decided to do that. Moving down onto the neck, I decided to create a bright red coral plant. I thought this looks so good with the color contrast on the face. Um, I've seen some really, really beautiful pictures of some coral and this just stood out for me. So that's why I decided to do that one up my neck. I did use a water activated paint so this would not transfer as I was painting the rest of my chest. Moving on to the next step, I actually stuck a couple of molds to my chest using some spirit gum. I did make these molds out of clay. Originally, I was using liquid latex, which would have been so, so much better, but unfortunately, they did not dry in time, so this was what I was left with. I then went ahead and started to paint a couple of fish onto my shoulder. Now if you guys follow me on any of my social media platforms, you would know that I'm not really a body painter, but there are so many talented artists in the top 30 that I really wanted to step out of my comfort zone and try something new. It was challenging and it did get a little bit stressful, but I actually really enjoyed doing it and I definitely will be practicing this more. I always love learning new things and I definitely thrive off creativity. I then went ahead and stuck on some googly eyes to the fish for a more realistic look and then I went ahead and outlined the fish using a black paint. Moving on to the molds, I decided to paint the starfish a mustardy color and then also paint the seahorse like an orangey yellow color. And then I actually go back in once that's dry and just add some detail and some texture as quite a bit of it was lost throughout the mold. In this next clip, you will see that I did trace out some plants. Now, I was unaware that my camera stopped at this point and I think it did stop a couple of times throughout um, this whole process. Like I did say, it took seven hours. So yeah, there's bits and pieces missing, but I did try and put as much in as possible. So as you can see here, I am painting like um, just different parts of plants and reefs and corals. My whole aim here was just to use some really bright, pretty colors like the Great Barrier Reef itself and just for it to be really bright and vivid. So I will let this play and let you guys watch so you can see what I'm doing. So this is the part where I carefully painted the background of the picture. This did take quite some time as it was really fiddly and there's quite a fine bit of detail on the plants so I did have to carefully trace around them. So 
So once I finished painting the blue, I then went ahead and painted some white bubbles just to represent that the uh, seahorse was breathing or making bubbles, I guess. I don't know, it looked good. And then I went on and did some shading. I just used like an aqua blue and light blue, a couple of different blues to shade around the animals and just to give another dimension to the picture. And then once I was happy with that, I then went in with a black eyeshadow and shaded a little bit more around the plants and around the animals to add even more dimension. Now moving on to the hair, I decided to paint it two different shades of blue because I did have a really nice headpiece but unfortunately I accidentally broke it so I couldn't use it. I definitely think the headpiece would have took this look to a whole new level but things happen in life we just can't control. So I still carried on and finished the look anyway. So now that the alive side's done, it's time to move on to the dead side and for the dead side I didn't really do much to be honest because obviously everything's dead. Um, I just stuck with some cool tones, some braids, some braids, some greys and some blacks. Um, I started out by drawing a coral wreath, as you can see, a white one, and then moved on by painting a brown, kind of greyish bit of dead coral just above the jawline. I decided to paint a, another bit of coral just on my hairline there. I decided to do a mustardy kind of colour and apply some dark grey and white to give it some texture. It's like the one on the other side, the yellow and the orange one, but yeah, this one's obviously dead, so it's different colours and I just thought it looked cool. So now it's time to paint the remaining background of the dead side black. Um, I did build up this color a bit because I wanted it to be like a jet black because I then go in and do some shading around the edges after. Using a black gel liner, I then went ahead and painted the bottom and the top waterline. I didn't want any skin peeping through there, so I made sure that I made that super black. Then once that was done, I went ahead and shaded some light grayish, like brownish tones into the plants and also a grain tone around the perimeter or the edges of the black to give it some dimension. Then using a white paint, I decided to add just little bits of detail randomly onto the dead side of the body. Lastly, I decided to blend in some shading. This was like a shimmery blue shading just to give that a more gloomy look. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did creating it. I will leave all the information on how to vote for me and also a link down below in the description box. So definitely go and check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.